Hey everybody, this is Boomy Moore, your Empower Me Now coach. And I want to share with you a little bit from um, the coaching call that I did last night. Um, in this video, uh, I want to make reference to the great personal development uh, leader, Jim Rohn. I remember a long time ago, Jim Rohn said, Don't wish that it were easier wish that you were better. I love that. Don't wish that life was easier. Wish that you were better. You know, so many times that's what people are looking for. They're looking for, you know, ease and comfort. And you may fall into the trap of thinking that uh, things were hard. You know, it must be that God doesn't want me to go this way. You know, if things are hard, man, that means I need to back down and, and let up on my pursuit of what it is that I'm I'm going after. But just in the whole course of life, guys, when you think about it, life is about obstacles mixed with opportunity. Isn't think about your whole life. Life is about obstacles mixed with opportunities. It's about, you know, you have those challenges that come up and you overcome those challenges and it, it makes you stronger and from there you progress and something else will come up and then you learn and grow from that. That's just what's going to happen all of your life. So don't wish that things were easier. Wish that you were better. Work on, and when I say wish, you know, I don't mean just, oh, put a wish out there. Really work on, you know, developing those attributes that will breathe that champion, that will rise up that champion spirit with in you the, the the faith that you need to move forward in the direction of your dreams the courage oh you're gonna need lots of courage in in your um, in your walk the the courage that you'll need the persistence that that you'll need the positive mental attitude that will just move mountains and in, in uh, on your behalf you will need all of you'll need all of that so realize, guys, struggle, struggle leads to progress. That is so true. Struggle leads to progress. And I think about what I have done in my home-based business career and just in, in life. I've literally failed my way forward. So I've come up against struggle. I met that struggle. I didn't back down. I, I worked through the struggle. I worked through the fear and, you know, through the, the, the unknown in faith. And because of that, I've progressed. When you think about the times of the struggle that we've gone through, you know, the civil rights struggle, what did it bring? It brought progress. So that's how you should live, live your life. Not that you don't want the struggle. But the struggle makes you stronger, right? You want the struggle to make you stronger. And then make sure that you learn from that struggle as well. So don't wish the life was easier. Life is going to be what life is. You have got to, to develop the, um, the wherewithal, the practices, the, the techniques. You have to allow what... God has already put in you to help you to overcome the obstacles and the challenge, to develop those things and let them rise up in order for you to go out here and really let your greatness show. And one last thing that um, that I want to, to share with you guys, I want to just address this issue of fear because fear so many times paralyzes people and it, and it, it holds us back. But you have got to learn to let fear Fear be your friend. Let fear be your friend. Know that when you are in hot pursuit of, of your goals, when you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're going after something that's really big and scary, fear is going to come up. So don't be shocked when it comes up. Just say, oh, that's what he told me I was going to get scared. I was going to have anxiety. There's nothing wrong with that. What is wrong is when you let fear make you back up and say, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that or maybe I shouldn't move forward or maybe I shouldn't, you know, press on. Oh, that's okay. I'll shrink back just here and comfortable and just, you know, maybe do it later. Mm -mm. That is, um, you need to be free and fearful of fear. Don't let fear fool you into failing. What I mean by that is I'm thinking of all these things, FFF. Don't let, 
<laughs> don't let fear fool you into failing and you will fail if you decide to not press forward if you just sit back and let up and you know and don't keep pursuing your goal so you feel the fear and you do it anyway if you're scared of something guess what you do it afraid that will grow you and if you if Brock Proctor calls it the terror barrier so you think there's this big brick wall and you're coming up against this big goal and you're like oh gosh you're so scary what did I do you're there right in front of that wall you have several choices two choices you can either shrink back into comfort with the known or you can press forward in that wall, through the wall, into freedom. Which will you choose? You're going to feel the fear anyway. Are you going to feel the fear, be scared of the fear, and shrink back? Or are you going to feel the fear and do whatever it is that you have to do, do it afraid, bust through that wall into freedom? Well, I would suggest that you would do the latter and you feel the fear you do it anyway whatever it is that you know you need to do you do it afraid and you bust through that wall into the freedom and the life that you deserve all right guys well I hope this nugget has helped you today stay tuned for my up and coming book my up and coming new website this is boomy moore your empower me now coach and remember you are more powerful than you know have an awesome day